Good morning and welcome to Highline H2H here at Magic City Highline for May 24th, 2021. I'm Stu Nyman. As always, I'm joined by Andrew Bleckman and together we will cover every point of every match today. Highline H2H will present six matches today, pairing up Highline players of similar ability who will compete in a best two of three set matches. The set is won by the first player to reach six points, and the first player to win two sets wins the match. Each match will be a set of speed, strategy, and stamina. Highline H2H allows players to compete in a format unique to Highline, but based directly on the more familiar format of a two out of three set tennis match. If you're joining us for the first time, you will see the ball traveling in excess of 125 miles an hour off three walls within a glass enclosed court, traditionally referred to as a concha. And the concha is within the fronton, the fronton, the building in which we play High Lie. We welcome you to a sport of unparalleled excitement. Welcome to High Lie H2H. Andrew, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Stu. I'm doing well here on this Monday. And we're back with group number one. They had some terrific play just about three weeks ago and back with these feature game players on this roster. We'll run down the six that you'll see today. That will be Carbio, Ron Ron, Ikeda, Benny, Julen, and Spinner. Those are the six. And a quick reminder of how their first set of matches went. We saw them a few weeks ago, as we said there. Julen at 2-0, Ron Ron up there at 2-0. Still undefeated is Ron Ron to begin his H2H career. He's lost a couple of sets, but no one has been able to take that second set from him in within that match. And Still perfect there, nothing in the loss count. At one and one, you have Benny, 17-year-old, getting the call up to this first group after a strong showing in group two in the short season. Benny won his first match against Carbio, then. Benny won his first match against Carbio, then lost his second match there to Julian. Sorry about that, get that correct. And then Carbio also at one and one, Carbio. Lost that first match to Benny, but then came back and defeated Spinner in straight sets. And then at the bottom of this group, number one here through two matches, you have Ikeda, who played very well, but came out empty-handed, lost a three-setter to Julen. Then in his second one of the day, lost a three-setter to Ron Ron. So Ikeda's only losses, the two guys that are perfect here, played very well. And then Spinner struggled a little bit, two straight set losses, only got to lose in straight sets. He lost to Ron Ron and Carbio. So the matchups for today will get started with this first match here in just about three minutes. The order of play will be Carbio versus Ron Ron, 2-0. Ron Ron versus the 1-1 one one Carbio. Ikeda versus Benny, followed by Julen versus Spinner. And then everyone's second match of the day will have Benny versus Ron Ron, Ikeda versus Spinner and Carbio versus Julen. So those are the six matches here today and we'll get going with this first one. Now in just about a minute and a half. Yes, minute 37, 36, 35. No, I'm not gonna count down for the next minute and 33 seconds, but that's about the time that we have left. <laughs> Carbio. He's in the wrong jersey. Now, normally that's a Carbio, Carbio mistake. Today it was a stew mistake. It's one thing I do. I accept responsibility for my mistakes and errors immediately. I told him what shirt to put on, and I told him the wrong shirt. He wears yellow for singles. He wears yellow for singles, so Carbio will get that switched up. And starting off with quite a doozy here, Carbio versus Ron Ron. You have the undefeated Ron Ron, as we said. Arguably the top player on this roster. He and Douglas have led the way here for the better part of the last two years. And there's a guy in Carbio that really plays up to the level of his competition. You know he loves this big stage. He's got a match against the top guy, and he would like nothing more than to give Ron Ron his first loss in his H2H career. And we'll get this match going here. Just about 20 seconds as we wait for Carbio to make that equipment change. Yeah. 
And we're ready to begin this match here. Judges are making their way out to their positions. Carbaya will have the serve first in the yellow shirt. Receiving is number 12, Ron Ron. Ron Ron giving me a ration of schnitt to start things off for telling Carbaya to put on a white shirt. <laughs> I deserved it. Absolutely, <laughs> I deserved it. Okie dokie. We have Carbaya serving in the yellow. Ron Ron receiving in orange. Carbaya has the first serve. First player to reach six points will win the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Here's Carbaya and his first serve. Powerful first serve to start things off. The ball must land between the four and seven line on the serve. That was an over serve. Highline H2H affords players two serve. Second serve coming up must be good. Second serve by Carbayo. Just fine. Here's the backhand by Ron Ron. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Scoop by Ron Ron. Scoop oh. by Carbayo. Ron Ron. That's a forehand Robote. When the ball comes off the back wall, has to be caught and thrown. One fluid motion. Scoop is missed. Ron Ron gets the first point of the match. So it's 1-0 in favor of Ron Ron in the orange shirt. Carbio receives. Served by Ron Ron. Backhand by Carbio. Carbio to the inside. Robote, forehand by Ron Ron. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Ron Ron makes the catch, winds up. That is called a costado two wall. What makes it a costado? That's a type of throw thrown from shoulder level. The fact that it was two walls, side wall, front wall needed to land in bounds. Inside that outer boundary line there on the floor, it did not. That's out. Point for Carbayo. We're tied up at one apiece. Hard first serve by Carbayo. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Ronron was going for the scoop. Decided to look for the Robote. That's his option. In highlight, we were always encouraging players in training to catch the ball in the air. So Ronron potentially going for a scoop, scoop passed on it. Robote did not come back to him. Carbayo serves. Another hard first serve by Carbayo. Robote forehand. Here's Ron Ron at the nine line. Backhand. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Catch by Ron Ron. Point four, Ron Ron in the orange shirt. If a player throws the ball and he's touched by the ball, that would be loss of point. Carbayo unable to make the return there, so one way or the other, we have a loss of point. Serve for Ron Ron. Backhand by Carbayo. Robote forehand is up. Fell just short. That pad is bad. The pad there at the bottom wall says Magic City High Line. Letting everybody know where we are, including the players, in case they forget. I want to get the ball up to the glass. Carbayo unable to do it there. Ron Ron now leads 3-2. First player to reach six points will win the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. There's a the serve by Ron Ron. Carbayo on the forehand. Robote, left side by Ron Ron. Catch by Carbayo. Hard throw to the inside. Carbayo doing a good job getting the ball back towards the side wall. You want to keep it on that side wall if you can. Makes it considerably more difficult for your opponent to catch. Scoop by Carbayo. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Carbayo winding up. Costado, that shoulder throw into the inside. Carbayo again. See those high scoops. He has a good feeling for him. 
he likes the rhythm of the ball catching it as it's coming up, but it's an infinitely more difficult, not infinitely, but it's a very, much more difficult catch than catching the yeah. ball in the air. That gives Ron Ron four points. Yes, yeah, we talked about that. The timing really has to be perfect on a catch like that, and he does it. It looks pretty good, but that time took his eye off it, couldn't make the catch, and 4-2 advantage for Ron Ron here early in this first set. Carbio from the forehand. Hard throw to the inside. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Scoop by Carbio. Backhand. Catch by Ron Ron. Carbio setting up for the forehand Robote at the nine line. Carbio, ooh, going for that on the forehand. Oh, wow, I got it up. That's a great catch by Ron Ron. Nice return. Robote forehand by Carbio. High scoop. So high scoop, what made it a high scoop is Sesta was far away from the floor, comparatively far away from the floor. Missed the scoop, point four, Carbio. We talk about the change just within that point, how momentum can really swing. You think Ron Ron's gonna win it, Carbio makes a, rid a ridiculous forehand or Bote save and changes the point. Now three to four with a chance to still take this first set. Carbio showing some Excellent concentration. Now, with the ball that's moving anywhere between, you know, 75 and a buck 25. Oh, what a shot. You know, you really want to be focused on that ball. Focus sometimes an issue for Carbio. Carbio more of a rhythm player, I guess you'd say. But it's all tied up at four apiece. Fine carom from the forehand of Carbio. Carbio has the serve. I notice ever since he tipped that one ball, he's really focused on, you know, securing that catch, really looking it into the cesta, and he's made a couple great grabs since, and... Tied it back up. Powerful forehand by Carbio. Robote left side by Ron Ron. Carbio reaching up to make the catch. Karam, that's a that's a problem that he's had. Losing his footing. So, went for the Karam. That's a two-all shot from the forehand. Lost his footing and fell. That's not the problem. You can fall as long as the ball hits the wall. Didn't. Five points for Ron Ron, giving him possible set point here in the first set for this Monday morning. Backhand by Carbio. Robote forehand by Ron Ron passes. This is the Robote. Comes out. Nice save by Carbio. Beautifully saved by Carbio. Catch by Carbio. Catch by Ron Ron. Hard backhand by Ron Ron. Great cret. catch, rather, by Carbio. Ron Ron. Beautiful. Look at how oh, that's in the side wall. What a catch My by goodness. Carbio. Another beautiful throw. Fine catch by Carbio. Seeing Ron Ron play a conservative, very consistent game. Carbio doing his usual explosive stuff. Oh, oh under that. the bridge. Woo. Well, he had to make a choice there. Either take it in the air, let it bounce. He thought he could get it and just hopped over. And that was a big bounce for Carbio. 5-5. Five, five. This is it. Set point. Backhand by Ron Ron. Carbio, forehand Robote, catch by Ron Ron. Outside placement by Ron Ron. Okay, you see what he did there? <laughs> well, he's up, yeah, we understand why he's upset. So he tried for that catch and quick release on the run. That is his specialty. We call that La Pistola here at Magic City in the Paramutual performances. And players now have a minute to regroup. And based on that explosive sound I just heard back here, I imagine a little regrouping is necessary. Don't know that a minute will do it, but, uh, but that's all the time they have. We reset that clock and maybe get it to two minutes there. I mean, a good first set. Both these guys showed some really good stuff there. You said Ron Ron playing a little more conservative, didn't throw any shots, and a couple tip balls, one into the pad for Carbio, so... You'd like to see him play maybe a little bit more conservative, but, you know, down a set may not be 
his style here and you know it, you want him to play his game where he's explosive he's flying around he makes some incredible plays but we'll see if he can regroup here going into set number two Ron Ron looked pretty sharp as you so after I bark out some orders here one of my responsibilities is assisting our player manager and coaching of players. We've been working with Carbio since 2018, since he first saw us at the beginning of 2018. Can't let his agitation get the better of him going into the second set. No, absolutely not. Against a guy like Ron Ron, who's always going to remain calm and composed out there, you give him any sort of advantage. I mean, you talk about the fact that he is undefeated. Good reason why there. You see how calm he is. Wins that first set a good amount of times and see if he can close it out here in set number two. Here's the first serve by Carbio. Blasts it in there, but it lands between the four and seven just like it has to. Carbio for the Robote. It's a That's two all. See the see terrific the shot. You see the control that he showed, though? Yeah. Absolutely. Not swinging wildly at it. I think that's the key. It's not a swing. It's no. he, it's a throw. And you sometimes he's yep. Sometimes he slaps at it to make some scoops, stabs at it, but that was controlled and got him on the board early. Good start. Backhand by Ron Ron. Right to the corner. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Ron Ron, difficult Robote. Carbayo, Karam, Ron Ron reads it, stops it on the left side, but does not hold on to it. Stopping, it's one thing, but in high line, you got to catch the ball. It cannot bounce around in the cesty. You can't juggle it when you catch it. But catching is essential. It's like we've told Carbaya with some of his spectacular plays. If you don't catch the ball, the world's never going to have an opportunity to see the perfect throw you were just considering making. <laughs> Here's the backhand by Ron Ron. Ron Ron just laying one up. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Catch by Carbayo. Carbayo, powerful backhand. This Robote is kicking all the way back out to the four line. Outside placement stopped by Carbayo. Carbayo sees his chance, Ooh. throws the carom. Carom is a forehand two wall, or two wall thrown from the forehand. Well executed by Carbayo because it was executed with control. You're going to hear me keep saying that as long as we're talking about Carbayo. The explosiveness, the running around, the jumping around does not put points on the board. Control and composure does. And of course we like alliteration here at Magic City. Control and composure. Forehand Robote by Ron Ron. Robote left side by Carbayo. Ron Ron catches it. Ah, the two all got him. What do you want to do in high line? Throw the ball where your opponent is not. That's exactly what Ron Ron did there. Scored well. So, Ron Ron gets up on the board. With one point, Carbayo has three. First player to win six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Carbayo, backhand from the 11 line. The Robote, that's the rebound from the back wall, comes out. Ron Ron takes it and passes him. What a nice robote that was oh, by Carbayo. <laughs> that is, that's pretty sick. Point four, Carbayo in the yellow shirt. That gives Carbayo four points to Ron Ron's one. What a serve by Carbayo. You want that serve to come into the box between the four and seven line hard. Cross the wall if you can in the backcourt. That's exactly what he did there. Catch by Carbayo. Low and hard to the inside. Will score for Carbayo. So that gives Carbayo five points and a possible set point. Anyone worried about Carbayo's composure, myself included, coming into the second set? Let's see I'm, if he's able to put it away. I'm, I'm really impressed with the way he rebounded so quickly here. 5-1. Played very under control. Those kill shots working for him. See if he can get this one more. We've seen some comebacks in this format already. Powerful forehand by Carbayo. Good catch by Ron Ron. Forehand by Carbayo. Nicely played to the inside. Outside placement of oh, the forehand. Robote boy. scores for <laughs> Ron Ron. He's got such a quick trigger on that, doesn't he? That was he? beautifully executed by Ron Ron. See, 
when you're when you keep your composure you're able to see those openings and that's that's what Carpaio sometimes have, has difficulty with when you're running and jumping and sliding. and It's spectacular to watch. It's fun. But you, miss, you <laughs> sometimes throw it right to your opponent. Serve by Ron Ron. Excellent serve. Crossing the wall back here at the 12 line. Robote forehand, outside placement again. Carbayo read this one, stops it. Returns a carom, stopped by Ron Ron. Powerful forehand by Ron Ron. What a scoop. Oh, he needed to uh, take a little more time. Yes. Yep. So the, the quick release return not working for Carbayo there. And Carbayo huffing and puffing just a little bit. Not as much as Ron Ron. <laughs> it's tiring. Both the, <laughs> these guys are running out there. Still possible set point here for Carbayo in the yellow shirt who does receive. First player to reach six points will win the set. Backhand by Carbayo. Ron Ron to the inside. Carbayo passed on taking it coming from in front of him. Catch by Carbayo. Powerful forehand. Ron Ron, Robote. Right up the middle. Carbayo catches it in the air. Throws the carom. That lands wow. in and scores for the win. Point and set for Carbayo. We are tied at one set apiece. Ron Ron winning the first set 6 5. Carbayo taking the second set 6 3. We will go to a third and decisive set. Well, this match has lived up to the billing to begin the day. We, we knew what we were going to get with Ron Ron undefeated in this format. A great player against arguably the most exciting player on this roster in Carbio. And boy, when he is on, he is really on. And that set was a perfect example of that. 6-3 to three victory for Carbio. Ron Ron took the first set 6-5. to five, So we are going to a decisive third set here. Carbaya with an opportunity to do something, as we said, that nobody has done this year, and that is knock off Ron Ron in this two out of three set format in H2H. Carbaya had taken him to three sets a few times in that short season. One of the only guys to take him to that third set, so these matches have all been great. This one, no different. We'll see the first one to get to six. We'll take this. So, Carbayo making an equipment change. Equipment, the chin strap, that fixes the helmet to his head. You'll notice that the helmet came off. Highlights a decidedly dangerous game. So keeping that helmet on is super important. So, chin strap was sacrificed to the agitation gods here at Magic City, and... <laughs> Did they, did, did they give it back for set three? I think I, I, that's I, nice of them. Yeah, I, I, I believe they did. I believe that the agitation gods have said, we understand your frustration. You won that second set. Here's your chin strap back. So the loser of the previous set always serves the next one. So that will be Ron Ron here serving to begin. Run on serves. We begin. Catch by Carbayo. Backhand. Run on makes the catch. Costalo two all. Great shot. Lands in and scores. So, what makes it a two all? The fact it's thrown into the side wall, cuts to the front wall where, where it absolutely needs to go, lands in bounds inside that outer boundary line there on the floor. What makes it a Costado? The fact it was thrown straight from shoulder level. Backhand by Carbayo. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Carbayo makes the catch. Backhand. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Scoop attempt missed by Carbayo. Point for Ron Ron. Ron Ron has two points here in this third and decisive set.
Here's the backhand by Carballo. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Thrown powerful to the outside. Carballo on the run. Oh, he tried. Okay. So, you saw it come to his Sesta. And try to get a little bit fancy is what happened there. He's trying to throw what's called a dejada robote. So the robote is when the ball comes off the back wall, comes to the opponent. The goal, throw the ball where your opponent's not. He was trying to throw it soft. So it just touched the front wall, which is not a mistake there at that point. It is a mistake not to hit the front wall with it. Usually what we advise is that if you've made a difficult catch or a difficult save, don't get fancy on the throw. Here's the catch by Carballo. Robote forehand, laid up. Carballo, I guess that missed him. Powerful throw, will score from the forehand of Carballo. So Carballo gets on the board in this third and deciding set with one point. Ron Ron has three. First player to win six points wins the set. Each one of these players has won a set already. So whoever wins this set wins the match. Backhand by Ron Ron. Robote forehand by Carballo. Catch by Ron Ron. See, That's saw him such a good it, shot. Exactly. I mean, Ron Ron saw him lingering out to the inside through the two wall. Threw it well. Carballo's got the speed to get there, but. So Ron Ron now has four points. Forehand by Carballo. Catch by Ron Ron. Scoop by Carballo. Two all thrown. <laughs> did you see what Carballo did there? That was. What have we seen him do multiple times? Blast it. What's the risk of blasting it? Throwing it off the court. What did he do? He didn't blast it. Showed control. Won the point. Carballo has two points. Ron Ron has three. Excellent catch by Ron Ron off a good serve by Carballo. Possible set point for Ron Ron, who has five points. Carbio from the forehand. Long carom. Scores. Wow. <laughs> kind of going for broke there. Well executed. A little on the risky side. Point four, Carbio. Carbio's got three points and the serve. Served by Carbio. Good catch by Ron Ron. Here's the backhand. Carbio, forehand to the inside. Robote by Ron Ron. Catch by Carballo. Two wall by Carballo. Scores with authority. Beautifully thrown. That gives Carballo four points. It is still possible set possible match point for Ron Ron, who is receiving in the orange shirt. Carballo crawling back here. He has four points. Carballo absolutely needs to win this point to stay in it. Real, real, real powerful first serve lands in. Backhand by Ron Ron. Robote forehand by Carballo. Catch by Ron Ron. Karim by Ron Ron. Carballo gets there. He got there. Point set and match, ladies and gentlemen, for Ron Ron in a wonderful display. That was great Carballo highlight to start First thing off. in the morning. Yeah. That was great. 10 a.m., these guys came out hot and ready to play. And a great match, but maybe to no one's surprise there, Ron Ron remains perfect. I think he was 12 and 0. I think that was his record in the short season. Now 3 and 0 through his first three matches here. So a combined 15 and 0 record in H2H. Only guy with that many wins and only one without a loss as well. So he gets it done in three sets. 6-5, 3-6, 6-4. Ron Ron takes the victory. So we'll sign that win to Ron Ron here, and we'll get the second match of the day coming up.
We'll be going here in just a minute. And this is going to be a particularly interesting one. You have number 55, Benny, taking on number 23, Ikeda. I would say two, oh, maybe similar play styles a little bit from these two, both guys that can catch the ball better than almost anybody. Maybe going to see him rally a little bit more. Benny has, has really started to pour it on here in these paramutual games. He's shown a lot of different things. And you got to remember, it's only, what, his fifth or sixth month here at Magic City playing professional highlight. So Benny still growing his game each and every day. And Ikeda, very refined skill set, very solid game. Not going to do too much with those kill shots. Very consistent player. So we'll see how he does here. And looking for his first win in the regular season, H2H. A little warm up here for the next 10 or so seconds before we begin second match of the day. Benny aging in at a miraculous 17 years old. Don't let the 55 on the back of his jersey fool you. He's only 17 Not his in age. his rookie yeah. season here at Magic City. And he knocked off Carbio. That's his only win in this format, so he's played against the top competition and he has won. Shown a lot of resiliency in that match. Let's see if he can get another win here against Ikeda. So, highlight H2H. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Here's the serve by Ikeda. We've begun. Backhand by Benny. Robote left side. Ball short of the front wall. Benny gets the first point of the match. And coming into this one, you got to think Ikeda is a little bit more motivated than maybe Benny is. Lost in three sets in both of his matches to the only guys that are undefeated in this format did Ikeda. So he's played some good highlight, hasn't anything to show for it thus far. That's an over-serve. Ball must land between the 4 and 7 line on the serve. Highline H2H affording players to serve. Second serve coming up here for Benny. Powerful forehand by Ikeda. Robote left side. The Robote, that's that rebound off the back wall. Ikeda's got control of this point. Throws the carom to score. The carom thrown from the forehand. Two walls. Side wall. Front wall, side wall being the green wall, front wall being glass. Having it land inside that outer boundary line on the floor. That's the kill shot. Boundary lines on the floor, not dissimilar to any other sport you might like to watch. Here's a serve by Ikeda. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Benny takes it in the air. That one he needed to go for before across the wall. That was actually a really good throw by Benny. You want to keep the ball as close to the side wall as possible, whenever possible, of course, including crossing the side wall right about where your opponent is. If you can do that, it sets up a much more difficult catch. Every time that ball touches a second surface, spin on the ball changes ever so slightly. Benny knew that one was not going to come back out for Robote that he could play anyway. Took a stab at it, missed it. Point for Ikeda there in the purple shirt. We're tied up at two apiece. Backhand by Benny. Catch by Ikeda. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Benny. Pika, the big bounce, brought down by Ikeda. Ikeda returns one. Benny catches it in the air. That's an excellent catch there by Benny at the side wall. That ball back on the side wall, off the rebote. Real difficult to get your Sesta right up against that side wall to make that return. Ikeda unable to do it. That gives Benny three points. First player to reach six points will win the set. First player to win two sets wins the match.
Forehand by Ikeda, catch by Benny. Karen by Benny hit the top of the pads. So yes, it hurt. You heard it hit the wall, but that Magic City High Lie boundary there at the bottom. Wood with thick foam rubber on top of it is out of play. Sometimes it goes into it. In that case, it just caught the top of it. Still out of play. Point four Ikeda. Tied up at three apiece. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Benny. Benny goes deep. Robote forehand by Benny. Catch by Ikeda. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Benny. Backhand by Benny. The Robote coming out. The Robote, that rebound off the back wall. Thrown beautifully by Ikeda there. Catch by Ikeda at the eight line. Outside placement, not outside enough. Benny stops it. Benny returns a carom that is oh, stopped by Ikeda. By Ikeda. Ikeda's carom return scores. Wow. That ball by Ikeda, well caught, but even better thrown. Cutting out there right around the two and a half, three line where Benny could not get to it. Excellent angle on that ball by Ikeda. Really well played by Benny right up into that point. Ikeda now has four points. Benny has three. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Here's a serve by Ikeda. Excellent catch by Benny. Off a good serve by Ikeda. Forehand Robote by Ikeda. Benny's there. Backhand by Ikeda. Hard backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Benny's there. Winds up. Back to the inside. Ikeda makes the catch. Robote left side by Benny. Ikeda takes it on the bounce to the seven line. Low and hard to the insides. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda to the outside. That got away from him. Sailed to the outside and off the court. We're tied up at five apiece. Therefore, this is set point. Whoever wins this wins the first set. That's quite the overserve. Ball's got to land between the four and seven line. Highlight H2H affording players two serve. Second serve coming up for Benny. Backhand by Ikeda. Robote by Benny. Excellent catch by Ikeda there at the eight line. Backhand caught in the air, but not held on to. Point and set for Ikeda. So, overall, good play by both players. If you were with us for the first match, saw a little bit more of aggressive play by, by Carballo. Of course, from Ron. Here in the second set, much more technical highlight. Play. Yeah. Focus on catching, focus on not making mistakes. Ikeda gets the advantage not just because he won the set, but because he was very much on top of every shot that he threw. Benny played was on the defense throughout the majority of that first set. Ikeda landing balls the way he had to, getting to, to balls the way he had to. Overall, some tremendous play by both of them. And both of these guys have started to mix in a couple more caroms than that kill shot from the right side, and it's been working pretty effectively for Benny in those paramutual games. Didn't see it here in this match, but Ikeda threw a couple of them that were just spectacular. So. See if he goes back to that to try to close out his first victory in this H2H regular season. Get the guys back out here. Benny will now have the serve. He lost the previous set. And we'll get set number two started. And Douglas there. The 
the scene just to the outside, keeping the visual score record for the players. We have electronic score keeping. We have the player manager keeping score. We have you keeping score. A lot of scoring. A lot of scoring. Double checks and triple checks. Robote left side by Benny. Here's the catch by Ikeda. Scoop attempt missed. Point for Ikeda. Ikeda gets the first point of the second set, having won the first set 6-5. First player to reach six points will win the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Benny from the forehand back to the inside. Here's Ikeda from the Teng line over the top. Catch by Benny. Backhand. Catch by Ikeda behind him. Want to always try to catch that ball in front of you. Catching it behind you can be risky. Work for Ikeda that time. Here's Ikeda from the forehand. Throws the carom. Benny reads it. Stops it. Returns it nice and hard. Ikeda oh, makes a, a fabulous catch there at the 12 line. Robote forehand, thrown hard by Ikeda, caught by Benny. Ikeda from the right side at the Teng line, trying to go outside. He gets it outside. Excellent Robote save by Benny. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda back to the inside, caught by Benny. Benny winds up, throws the two all out of play. That was a wow. really well played point by both players, both by Ikeda and Benny. Both players getting to the ball beautifully. Ikeda pretty much well flawless in the last couple points. Yeah, he gets in these into a nice rhythm where he catches seemingly everything. Doesn't matter where it's coming, if it's crossing the side wall, low, high, behind his head. Great catcher of the ball here, and he's showing that again this match against Benny. Backhand by Benny, clears the overhead screen, comes out to the Robote about the seven line. Keita makes the save. Benny, Robote left side. Catch by Ikeda. Hard throw by Ikeda, caught by Benny. There's the backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Benny, caught by Ikeda. Scoop by Ikeda. Karam does not open up, does not cut to the outside. That Karam, however, did. And a big deep breath for Benny there after that one landed in. I think that settled him down. Already down a set here. Can't afford to go down 3-0 in set number two. Gets him on the board and gets it to within one. Catch by Ikeda deep in the backcourt. Comes over the top. Catch by Benny. Karam by Benny. That yeah. was beautifully <laughs> executed by Benny. That carom from the forehand is more difficult to throw the closer you are physically to the side wall when you throw it. Throwing it from the outside, you get a good angle on that ball. Throwing it next to the side wall, there's not really much of an angle. So to get it to open up like that, and by open up, I mean cut out once it hits the floor. Particularly difficult. That was a beautiful throw by Benny. Overserve. Second serve coming up for Benny. Backhand by Ikeda. Robote left side. It's a two-all. Beautifully oh, wow. executed by Benny. Now, Benny looks tired. Now, given we've talked about he's 17, so he can't possibly be tired. He's got to be ready <laughs> to play another six hours of highlight at this stage. But throwing more shots, ending the points more quickly. Don't know if the two are related, but it's working for him. Yeah, very much so. Now up 3-2. to two. These matches change pretty quickly in age Under serve. Ball's got to land between the four and seven line on the serve. Highlight H2H, affording players to serve. Second serve coming up for Benny. Forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Benny. Hard throw by Benny to the inside. Nat needed to take that one two bounces before that ball was thrown. 
needed to take that one coming front ways, off the front wall, not let it pass you. Do that by moving up to the ball, trying to take it in the air, take it on the bounce if you have to, only if you have to. Benny's got four points, Ikeda has two. First player to reach six points wins the set. Catch by Ikeda. Excellent catch by Benny. That ball's on the side wall, beautifully thrown. Not a very easy thing to do to get it there, much less to return it from there. Betty, Benny, Betty. Benny's <laughs> clearly stepped out in front. He's got possible set point. Maybe he'll go with the name Betty. I don't know. Benny's got five points, possible set point for Benny in the white shirt. Hard serve. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda over the top. Robote left side. It's a two-all. Going to take a big bounce. Cut off by Ikeda. Ikeda hard throw to the inside. Tough catch. Not made by Benny. So, Ikeda now has three points. Benny still has five and possible set in the white shirt. Basically, first player to win two sets wins the match. Ikeda won the first set 6-5. Benny's got possible set point 5-3. Ikeda needs to run a couple points here to stay in it. In this set, that is. Ball tipped. And an overserve. So, second serve here for Ikeda. Backhand by Benny. Catch by Ikeda. Outside placement by Ikeda will score. Wow. Some great shots in this game, Stu. Absolutely. Yeah. Ikeda now has four points. Still possible set point for Benny. Super important point here for Ikeda. Well, it's been a set of runs here. Ikeda won the first two. Benny won five straight. Now Ikeda on a run of two straight. See if he can tie it up and force a decisive 11 point. Benny from the forehand. Oh, got away from him. Hit the rail just above the front wall. That is out of play. So we are at set point, possible match point here for Ikeda in the purple shirt. He can close it out in two sets if he can win this point. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Benny makes the catch. Back to the inside. Keda, great concentration and a great catch. Back to the inside he goes. Tipped, point, set, and match. Wow, what a comeback. For Ikeda. A well-played match for both Ikeda and Benny. Looked like Benny was taking that second set. We we're going to be forced so. into a third set. Not the case. Ikeda comes back and wins it 6-5. So... Tell you how close that was. Ikeda won the first one 6-5, and he won the second one 6-5. Said similar game there, very technical high line in that match, but as it went on, they mixed in a couple more kill shots. Benny got into a nice rhythm, but it was Ikeda at the end rattling off four straight to come back and win set number two and ultimately take that match. So Great match after a great match to start off this day. We're going into the third one, three of six. So we got a lot more highlight to go here today. In addition to two paramutual performances after this, so 16 games, four more matches. But up next, the only two guys you haven't seen in this group, number one, you probably know by now, it's going to be Julian versus Spinner. Now, Julian struggled in that short season H2H. Made the transition from a longer court from Miami to Magic City here, so took some time to get adjusted to the length of the court, some of the bounces here. Spinner also had to make a similar adjustment, but Spinner came out, played a little bit better to begin his career, but now in this regular season, Julian at 2-0 through his first two matches, and Spinner at 0-2. So tides have turned here. Julian now at the top, but he's looking to stay at the top of this group. And yeah, we got about 20 seconds till we begin the this match. Julian in the pink shirt, Spinner in the black. At Julian of his two matches, both of them have gone to three sets this season, but he 
He's taken that third set both times, ultimately won. Spinner, on the other hand, two straight set losses for him. 6-3, 6-3 loss to Ron Ron, and then 6-3, 6-5, he lost to Carballo. So, Jewel will have the serve. Judges making their way onto the court. As always with Highline H2H here at Magic City. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Here's the first serve by Julen. It's good. We begin. Backhand by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Backhand from the eight line. Robote forehand. Nicely saved. Julen moves up. Catches it in the air. Strong backhand follows. Robote. The rebound off the back wall. Thrown by Spinner. Catch by Spinner. Backhand. That's that Robote on the side wall. Get that ball back to the side wall as often as you can. Makes for a particularly difficult throw. Spinner gets the first point of the first set. He's there in the black shirt, and he has the serve. Under serve, second serve coming up. Ball must land between the four and seven line. Highlight H2H, fording players two serves. Second serve coming up for Spinner. Backhand by Julen. Robote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Powerful forehand by Julen passes wall to wall, way over Spinner's head. Throw to the inside, stopped, and a fine catch by Julen. There's the backhand. Robote forehand by Spinner, catch by Julen. Julen goes deep. Robote, the rebound from the back wall, played by Spinner to the outside. Julen's there. That's the carom by Julen, thrown from the forehand, missed by Spinner on his forehand. Point for Julen. We're tied up at one apiece. Under serve. Ball must land between the four and seven line. Second serve coming up for Julen must be good. Fortunately, I haven't seen too many double faults throughout Highlight H2H. Second serve by Julen is good. Here's the catch and return by Spinner on the left side. Robote forehand by Spinner. Scooped up by Julen. Interference ruled. The point will be replayed. So, the way interference works in high lie is if a player is unable to make a play on the ball because someone is immediately in his way, interference is requested by putting your hands up. And it is the judgment call of the referee as to whether or not it was, in fact, interference. Interference was granted in that call. In making that assessment, the judge has to believe that the person who's claiming interference could have gotten to that ball. If that ball is tipped, that is two points for Julen in the pink shirt. Catch by Spinner at the 11 line. Robote left side by Julen to the inside. Spinner looking for the Robote. The rebound from the back wall. Play to the inside for the big, big bounce. Got past him. Julen. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Julen did took a little bit more of a bounce than, than Julen was expecting. He, he looked he behind him it. like the ball was going to fall from the sky into his Sesta <laughs> and knew that what are you going to do with make, it if it did that? It's like a Willie Mays catch. Try to go over the head and no yeah. luck. It's not against the rules, but was set up an interesting throw at minimum. <laughs> Good effort, though, by Julian to keep his eye on the ball. Forehand to the inside, taking a big bounce, brought down by Spinner. 
Rebote by Julen. Catch by Spinner. Scoop attempt missed. Rebote not there. Point four Spinner in the black shirt. He now has three points. Julen has two. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Catch by Spinner at the Teng line. There's the forehand. Four two in favor of Spinner in the black shirt. There's the serve by Spinner. Spinner going for that first serve. That is his hand over serve. Ball's got to land between the four and seven line. Second serve for Spinner must be good. Robote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Outside placement by Julen stopped on the forehand of Spinner. Julen, beautiful job moving up, catching that ball, and the day hot of the change up. First one we've seen in this match. And big smile on Julen's face. Then he drew it in. That's his traditional Basque training. Don't show too much emotion there. It's okay if he wants to smile. He got Spinner on that one. Here's the serve by Julen. Powerful forehand. Spinner to the inside. Julen from the eight line. Powerful right side. Spinner takes off to make the rebote. Julen, excellent concentration. Nice throw to pass. Rebote left side is a two all. Off the court. Point four, Julen. And if you notice what Julen was doing in terms of tracking that ball, he was ready to catch it in the air the way he was supposed to. The way we've instructed the players from the beginning is if there's even a question that it's going out, catch it. Because the one thing you don't want to do is pull in from <laughs> a relatively easy catch and have it land in when you think it's going out and lose an easy point. Julian did a good job there. Catch by Julian at the 9 line. Back to the inside. Catch by Spinner at the 13 line. He comes over the top. Julian, backhand from the 7 line. That ball's on the wall. That is a beautiful Robote save on the forehand of Spinner. Julian winds up, throws the two wall, but it does not cut out. What oh, a what catch, catch by catch. Julian. That backhand, though, hits the overhead screen. It's a beautiful catch by Julian, no question about that. Putting a tough catch together with a, with a throw that just gets up to the front wall, not always the easiest thing to do. Julian not able to do it there. Spinner has five points, possible set point for Spinner in the black shirt. Over serve. Second serve coming up for Spinner must be good. Backhand by Julen. Rebote forehand by Spinner. Jul oh, ball came up on Julen rather quickly. He just missed the forehand catch. Players will get one minute to regroup. And then we'll come back and play the second set. So Spinner winning the first set 6-4. It's a pretty conservative play from, from both players. Nothing wrong I with conservative play. Not at all. Back and forth match there, but... Ultimately, Spinner gets it done. So the first set, Spinner's actually won here in this regular season H2H. 
against a guy who is undefeated in this format. So not unfamiliar territory, though, for Julian. He has lost at least one set in all of his matches here to begin. And his comeback. In all of them. So, we'll get this all set up here for set number two. Spinner won that one, six to four. Set two, Julian will now have the serve to see if he can get one back here. And we're just about ready here to begin the second set. As we said, Julian will have the serve. Spinner will receive. Good serve by Julian there. Here's Spinner on the left side. Julian up at the nine line makes the catch. Spinner's going to let that one pass for Bote left side at the nine line. Here's Julian on the forehand. Hard forehand. Going to pass, sending Spinner back to the six line. Left side, Robote. Here's Julian with a catch low. Hard forehand will score. Tip by Spinner. Julian takes first point of set number two. Another good hard serve there by Julian. Stopped by Spinner on the left side. This one's going to pass. Julian turns, makes the rebote at the 8 line. Spinner set up in the middle of the court at about the 10 line. Over the top, back inside. Here's Julian. Spinner makes a catch over his head. Sidearm forehand, looking to pass, gets over Julian's head. Rebote forehand, laid up by Julian. Here's Spinner now. Karam. Julian gets there on the outside, not going to have enough room to get the throw off. Good effort. That's Spinner's point, though, one to one. That was my best Andrew Blechman imitation of the day. Maybe of the year. That was pretty good. Thank you. I've been working on it. In the shower mostly in the morning, but listening to That's recordings good to, good of you overnight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's the serve by Spinner. Ooh, TV set went black. Catch by Julian. Throw to the inside. Spinner. Committing to the back. If that gets over his head, he's not going to be able to come out and make the rebote. Rebote by Julian, right up the middle. Catch by Spinner. Julian, Karam, beautifully executed. Stop by Spinner and a great catch. Julian. Ah, do you see what he did? I see what he did. He took his eye off the ball yep. at the last moment. Very common problem with some highlight players. We refer to it here as CTFB. We're not going to define that for you, but you need to catch the something ball. <laughs> and you do that by focusing on the ball until you complete the catch. you got to watch that ball go all the way into the cesta and then stop it in the cesta without it bobbling. Very common for players to take the eye off the ball once it's lined up. It's almost like a reflex. It's a, not a good habit to get into and a very good habit to get out of, to get out of by concentrating. Backhand by Julian goes deep. Spinner takes off to make the rebote. Rebote, the rebound off the back wall. Julian's there. Julian plays it low and hard to the inside. Rebote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Julian. Julian faked the two all, put it back inside. Spinner makes a great catch. Julian's there. Rebote forehand by Spinner. Julian from the four line. Ball goes into the pad, Spinner gets the point. Spinner getting some clarification on making sure that the ball bounces behind the 11 line, but in front of that second line there. Can't flirt with that back line. 
theoretically gives a player an advantage on the serve if he serves from too deep in the court. Powerful throw by Spinner will score. Point four Spinner. Spinner now has four points. Serve coming up for Spinner. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Spinner is able to win this. He will win the match. Over serve. Second serve coming up. Here's the serve by Spinner. Robote by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Powerful throw by Julen. Scooped up and a beautiful catch by Spinner. Robote forehand by Julen. Spinner makes the catch. There's the backhand. Backhand by Julen. Julian makes the catch on the forehand. Hard throw to the inside. Julian. Forehand to the inside. Spinner. Fine catch at the 11 line. There's the backhand. Robote left side by Julian. Played for the big bounce. Brought in by Spinner. Robote left side by Julian. Clipped the side wall. Gives it to Spinner on the forehand. Catch by Julian. Backhand by Julen. Catch by Spinner. Julen with the catch at the seven line. Low and hard to the inside. Scooped up. Catch by Spinner. There's the backhand. Spinner knows the Robote is coming, so he made the Robote there. That's the rebound from the back wall. Here's another one. Oh. So, ball died coming off the robote there. So, coming off the robote means that it went over his head, went to the back wall, was coming out, but got a little play off the side wall deep in the backcourt here. That took us some spin off the ball. Excellent catch by Spinner. Catch by Julian. Backhand by Julian. Robote coming out. Robote comes on the side wall to the five line. Julian makes the catch. Robote by Spinner. Catch by Julian. Powerful throw by Julian. Will score. Point for Julian, who now has three points. Spinner has four. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. And Julian seems to be a lot more aggressive up there. You see ch him charging the ball, putting himself in some good positions. That time killed the point once again. Right back into it now. Just down one. Powerful serve by Julen. Backhand by Julen. Catch by Spinner. Powerful backhand by Spinner. Robote coming out. Julen takes the Robote on the forehand, gets out of the way. Spinner's there, winds up, puts that ball to the inside. Julen with a clutch catch at the side wall. Very well played. Julen has it on the forehand. Not where you want to give it to Julen. Spinner comes up with a fine catch, though. Scoop by Julen. Backhand. Robote coming out. Robote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Hard throw by Julen. Catch by Spinner. Catch by Julen. Catch by Spinner. Backhand from the Teng line. Robote left side by Julen. Scoop by Spinner. Backhand. Robote forehand by Julen to the inside. Point four, Julen. Ex excellent catch by Spinner off a good serve by Julen. Robote left side. Spinner with a tip ball, point four, Julian.
Five four Julian, possible set point for Julian in the pink shirt. Under serve, second serve coming up for Julian. Conditioning seems to be a factor. Definitely, and I think Julian has really tried to move this set along here. Notices that Spinner's a little bit tired, hasn't taken a lot of time in between the serves to let himself, even let himself catch his breath. Just keeps on going. Doesn't seem to be a problem for him, and he's won four straight, looking to make it five and close out this set. Catch by Spinner. Powerful forehand. Bote left side. Missed. So, it's 5-5. Five, five. This is set point. And you think this is a big point here for Spinner. You see... Huffing and puffing out there would like to avoid this third set, if at all possible. He's got one point here to do it. Maybe we'll set up an oxygen bar here, you know, somewhere off the side. That was real big a few years ago, I remember. <laughs> Hard serve by Spinner, catch by Julian. Powerful forehand by Julian, catch by Spinner. Spinner, Pika, the big bounce, goes up, brought down by Julian. Julian, powerful forehand, caught by Spinner. Spinner to the inside, catch by Julian. Outside placement, Spinner read it, stops it, returns it hard. Scoop attempt missed, Rebote not there, point, set, and match for Spinner. So, Julian speeding things up there halfway through that second set and Spinner definitely seeing seeming rather a little tired and that's I mean that's been a consistent issue for Spinner seems to be as he gets later on in these matches but when you close it out in two doesn't matter about how your conditioning is going into that third one he gets his first win of Highline H2H in the regular season Julian drops to two and one First blemish there in the standings. So, some great highlight coming up, and that's only the first round of matches, Stu. We got three more to go. First one that's coming up, it's going to be Ron Ron versus Benny. Now, this ought to be interesting. Yes, we have the rookie in white, Benny, all of 17 years old. We have Ron Ron, who's older, with considerable more experience. However, Ron Ron makes few, if very rarely see, I was about to say few, if any mistakes, but that's not entirely accurate. Ron Ron does not make many mistakes. Benny has not been making many mistakes. Benny just began his professional career with us here in High Lion Magic City in January of this year. Yeah, Ron Ron doesn't make a lot of mistakes. I'd say those kill shots are a little more refined, obviously, at this stage. Just a lot more years of experience. But two guys, as we said, kind of similar to Ikeda. These guys are going to catch. They're going to rally. And two of the top guys on this roster. So we'll see how it goes. See if Ron Ron can remain perfect. Or this would be quite the win for Benny here if he could pull it off. <laughs> I think Ron Ron suggesting that. He was a little tired, <laughs> but let's see. Let's let's see what happens. Did you know this guy's seventeen? Yes, I know he's seventeen. <laughs> Here's first serve by Benny. Backhand by Ron Ron Robote. Rebound off the back wall coming out. Two all caught the top of the pad. Any part of the pad is bad. Point four, Ron Ron in the orange shirt here in this first set. As always with Highline H2H, first, first player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. First serve by Ron Ron is good. Here's the backhand by Benny. Robote forehand. The Robote, that rebound off the back wall by Ron Ron. Robote forehand. Ooh. If Benny has one weakness in his game, it is his forehand Robote. Now, when you're in your rookie season, 
and when you've only been really playing high lie at all for about a year, you're entire to you're you're completely entitled to have weaknesses in your game. So there's really only one weakness in Benny's game. That's his forehand or bow tie. Yeah, much more comfortable from that left side. But still gets it up with some regularity from the right side, just not as much pop on it. Here's the forehand Robote by Ron Ron. Passes to the back wall. Robote forehand by Benny. Ron Ron winds up, rips it inside. Benny did not go to the outside, waiting for it. He did throw it to the outside. Ron Ron was cutting back to the inside, tried to reach out and grab it, couldn't do it. Key in highlight, throw the ball where your opponent is not. You know, some legs on the bench there behind uh, Benny. Those belong to Spinner, who is laying down now after the, after that last match. Here's the backhand by Ron Ron. Bote forehand by Benny. Catch by Ron Ron. Benny makes the catch. Powerful backhand. Robote coming out. Robote, the rebound from the back wall. Played on the left side of Ron Ron beautifully to the corner. That was a gorgeous throw. Benny, forehand Robote, as we just discussed, sent that one out of play. Point for Ron Ron in the orange shirt. He leads three to one. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. So, Ron Ron has a fantastic sense of humor. Now, obviously, a player can't tie his shoes if, <laughs> if, if he's got the cest on. So, player manager Juan Ramon Arasate tying his shoe, but Ron Ron made, made sure to let us know that he didn't do that on purpose so that he could get a little extra air. Yeah, he ran out of the cage. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. look, he's coming back in here quickly. Apologizing, of course. Sorry for holding everyone up. Good guy, that Ron Ron. You could learn something from him, actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ruthless. <laughs> the only one nicer in the building than Ron Ron is perhaps Andrew. And that's it. <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. Yeah, Tennessee. So Ron Ron drops that point. Benny gets the point. He has two. Serving to Ron Ron's three. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. First serve coming up here for Benny. Excellent first serve. Backhand by Ron Ron. Robote, high to the inside. Ron Ron's going to look for the Robote, the rebound off the back wall. So's Benny. A little bit more difficult for him. He makes the save. Ron Ron's there. Ron Ron rifles it inside. That will score. Point for Ron Ron in the orange shirt. Ron Ron has four points. Serve by Ron Ron. Benny, backhand from the 11 line. Nice and high, deep into the backcourt. Rotate forehand by Ron Ron. Ron Ron rips that to the inside where it scores. Literally about two inches in front of Benny Sesta. But truth of the matter is when the ball's coming in about 100 to 110 miles an hour like that one probably was. Those two inches make a huge difference. Well thrown by Ron Ron. He gets the point. He has five points possible set point for Ron Ron here in the orange shirt. Backhand by Benny. Excellent catch by Ron Ron. Backhand by Ron Ron. Bote forehand by Benny. Got away from him. Is out of play. Point and the first set goes to Ron Ron. Second set will be coming up here in just a moment. So Ron Ron playing particularly conservative, mostly defensive. Not a lot of shots in that first set.
and I think that comes with a you know level of experience. I think he knows that at this point, skill set maybe a little more advanced than Benny. Just keeping the ball in play, forcing him to make the mistake, putting him some in some uncomfortable situations. There are a lot of Robote sailing wayward off the court. So simple game plan for Ron. Ron worked very well there in set number one. See if he can pull out a similar result in set number two. But Benny has been down like this before. I mean, you remember that first match he played against Carbio. He lost 6-0 in set number one, then came back and won the match. One well, of the next two sets, 6-1, 6-3. So not uncharted waters for him. But a little bit more difficult of an opponent here to take out. We'll see if he can make things interesting here in set two. Second set begins now. Benny has the serve. First player to win six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Good first serve, excellent first serve, in fact, by Benny. Catch by Benny on the forehand. There's the carom. Beautiful shot. Scores. Point four, Benny. He's first up on the board in the second set. Well, I think that's exactly what you have to do to potentially take out Ron Ron. Throw some shots, see where they land, especially after the way that first set went down. You know, kind of take those chances, see what happens here. Good start off one to zero. Here's the backhand by Ron Ron. Robote comes out. Robote to the ins outside, rather. Excellent pickup, excellent effort by Benny in and out of the Sesta. We're tied up at one apiece here in this second set. Ron Ron won the first set, six to two, as you can see up there on the board. If he's able to win this set, he'll close it out in two sets. Benny's able to win. We'll go to a third and decisive set. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Robote forehand by Benny. Catch by Ron Ron. Outside placement oh, by Ron Ron. You've heard me say it before. I'll say it again. Throw the ball where your opponent is not if you can. Well, that means throwing two walls, outside placement like we just saw there, whatever it is. Make it happen. Ron Ron has two points. Backhand by Benny. Ron Ron makes the Robote save. Benny has the catch midcourt, clearly on offense. Throws the carom, which has been working for him. That one caught the pad. Any part of the pad is bad. Point for Ron Ron in the orange shirt. Ron Ron leads a 3-1. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Robote by Benny. Catch by Ron Ron. Two all scores. Benny was standing all the way to the inside about the 10 line. If you have the ability to throw that two all with confidence, throw it. Ron Ron did. He got the point. It's 4 1 in favor of Ron Ron in the orange shirt. For anybody new to Highline, lots going on, but pretty easy to understand. Give us 10 minutes, we'll give you a complete explanation of what's going on on the court. There's a serve by Ron Ron. Under serve, ball must land between the four and seven line. Highline H2H affording players two serves. Second serve must be good.
Catch by Benny. There's the backhand. Ron Ron from the forehand. Hard to the inside. Benny, Robote to the inside. Beautifully paid, played by Benny. Benny makes the catch. Backhand from the eight line. Ron Ron to all Robote. Beautifully executed. That gives Ron Ron five points. Possible set, possible match point for Ron Ron in the orange shirt. Is Ron Ron motivated by the win, the money associated with the win, or the fact that he will be able to stop playing if he's able to, <laughs> to, <win> see. <laughs> to win this point? <laughs> Players, for the most part, are in good shape, but lots, it's, of, lots of running first thing in the morning. It's exhausting, yeah. Backhand by Benny. Robote forehand by Ron Ron. Benny comes out, makes the save. Ron Ron off his footing, makes the catch. Throws the two all. Benny went for it on the right side. Hard throw. Catch by Ron Ron. Wow. There's the backhand to the inside. Catch oh. by Benny. There's the backhand. Catch by Ron Ron. Outside placement scores for the win. Wow. Point, set, and match for Ron Ron. So there is Ron Ron, 6-2-6-1 victory over Benny. And if he said he was tired going into that match, too, I don't want to know what he's like at 100% because that was some great highlight he played. Very technical, didn't make any mistakes. Kill shots working for him. Made some spectacular catches. Just a complete performance by Ron Ron, as evidenced by the fact that he only lost three total points there. So... Good effort by him. Tough matchup for the 17-year-old, but you know he's going to be back here improving every day, so he'll get another shot there to take out Ron Ron. Coming up next, match number five of six. Moving along here, approaching 12 o'clock, about a half hour away, 35 minutes from that. 1 p.m. performance, eight games of live highlight here in the Magic City, but two more matches before that. First of two will be Ikeda versus Spinner. Now Ikeda with the victory in his first match of the day. Spinner also victorious in his first match of the day. One of them is going to have to lose here. They improved their records. Check it out now. Ikeda coming into the day was 0-2. He's got one. Spinner was also 0-2 coming into the day. He got his first win. And now someone's going to get back to 500 here at 2-2. Two two. See, it's going to be Spinner or Ikeda. I know who has the serve. That's going to be Ikeda. So Ikeda will have first serve. As always with Highline H2H, first player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. There's a serve by Ikeda. We've begun. Here's a backhand by Spinner. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Big bounce goes up, brought down by Spinner. Scoop attempt missed. First point of the match goes to Spinner in the black shirt. Spinner serves. Serve is good. Landing between the four and seven line. Ikeda from the forehand. Throwing it really hard. However, that escapes to the overhead screen. 
That's out of play. Basically, if it's glass or green or on the floor inside of these boundary lines, it's good. Anything other than that, out. Spinner has two points. Spinner's first serve is good. Ikeda on the backhand from the 13 line. Spinner from the 11 line. Ikeda. Spinner, fine catch. Ball tipped by Ikeda. Point for Spinner. Spinner has won three straight points. Catch by Ikeda, backhand. Backhand by Spinner. Robote forehand by Ikeda, thrown hard. Ikeda throwing them consistently hard and high, but flirting with that overhead screen. That's it the happened, second yeah. time he's gone all the way up there. Second time this, this match a couple times in that first one as well, flirted with that overhead screen. So why is it you throw the ball up there? Usually you're trying to get it past your opponent by throwing it over his head. Sometimes you want to get it high up on the front wall so it takes a nice big bounce at the feet of your opponent or in front of him try to bounce it over his head that way both of those cases hit the overhead screen which is out of play here's Ikeda forehand to the inside catch by spinner backhand that's that pika that I was just talking about the big bounce thrown in front of Ikeda Ikeda moved up to take it spinner Robote falls short, point for Ikeda. Ikeda gets up on the board with one point. Spinner has four. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Backhand by Spinner. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Spinner. Robote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda faked the two all, put it back inside. Spinner was there. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Spinner from the nine line. Passes from the right side. Robote forehand by Spinner. By Ikeda, rather. Backhand by Spinner. Excellent Robote save. Oh. So, Ikeda was going to use the side wall there to lift himself up nicely into the air, try to make that catch. Timing was off. So that's what that big, big explosive business was going into the side wall. So, possible set point here for Spinner. With five points. Ikeda with one. Catch by Ikeda. Powerful forehand. Scooped up by Spinner. Backhand by Spinner. Rotate forehand. Karam lands out. Point and set for Spinner. Players get one minute to regroup. We'll bring him back out. So Spinner wins the first set, 6 1. Second set coming up. First player to win two sets will win this match. And that, an interesting first set there. Not a lot of 
Yeah, Spinner didn't really do anything to, to make it happen. And, you know, look at the 6-1 scoring margin there. A lot of mistakes from Ikeda kind of led to that discrepancy there in the score there. It's only six points. If you make, yeah. if, if you get, I mean, two of them went into the overhead screen. So right. So you've already dropped two points two. right there. One was, you know, missed it going up the side wall. And, and then there's a natural tendency yeah. to get a little conservative after that. If you've been doing something consistently wrong, like you've been going for the top of the wall and you've been missing, there's a tendency to pull back a little bit, say, this isn't working for me, or my luck's off today, or something along those lines. I don't know what Ikeda's thinking was, but he made an adjustment, started throwing it hard to the inside, but that's not a good way to beat Spinner. Spinner catches yeah. really, really well on the left side. Well, I think he wanted to try to, sides, try to pass him with, and force him to make those rebote saves, which is the weakest part of his game. You know, a great catcher of the ball there. If you rally with him, it's going to be a long day, and... Didn't work out, caught the top of the screen a couple, at the lower part of the screen a couple times there, but any part of that screen is bad and ended up 6-1 there for Spinner. So we'll reset, get these guys back out here. Ikeda will serve to begin set number two and see if he can force a third one. Kata serves. Our second set has begun. Spinner, backhand from the 11 line. Robote forehand by Kata. Escapes. He lost his footing. Trying to pass it over Spinner's head, what we were just talking about. Flirting with, flirting with the top part of that wall. Bounces off the wall. I don't know if bounces off the wall is the right phrase, but it does. And into the overhead screen, which is out of play. So Spinner's got the first point of the second set. What you see the players doing consistently when they take that tie off of their hand, they're not holding on to anything in there. That hand is in that glove, which is on top of the basket. And it's in there flat, and it's affixed by that tie called a cinta. It loosens up, as you might imagine, during these throws. So in between points, players tend to tighten it. Kata commits to the backcourt, makes a fine return. Backhand by Spinner. Catch by Ikeda. Backhand from the Teng line. Powerful backhand. Rebote coming out. Spinner makes a save. Rebote save by Spinner. Ikeda rifles it outside, but Spinner was lead. there. Yep. What a catch by Ikeda. Low backhand to the inside. Not much of a Rebote, but Spinner makes one anyway. Very nice play by Spinner. Here's the catch by Ikeda. Ikeda outside placement. Spinner's there. Hard throw by Spinner. That's the what best catch, catch we've seen today. Pulled it right from the side wall. Beautifully played by Ikeda. Catch by Ikeda. Karim by Ikeda opens wow. up and scores with a beautifully played point by both Ikeda and Spinner. Ikeda gets the point. Now let's see if that can give Ikeda some momentum. A couple great catches. Kills the point with a nice Karim. Everything you could want out of that. He displayed right there, so... Ties it up at 1-1, very much still in this match, and, you know, conditioning may be a factor here with Spinner starting to huff and puff a little bit more, and we're just at the beginning of set number two. I'd say the later and longer this match goes, give the advantage right there to Ikeda. Backhand by Spinner. Right on the wall, beautifully played. Ikeda makes the rebote save. Moves Spinner up, Spinner winds up. Two all, thrown out. Point four, Ikeda. Robote forehand by Ikeda, caught by Spinner. Spinner winds up, two all, does not open up. Ikeda makes the catch. Ikeda hard throw, Spinner comes up with a clutch catch there at the 11 line. Catch by Ikeda. Hard throw to the inside. Will score. Point for Ikeda in the purple shirt. Ikeda has three points. Spinner has one. Spinner won the first set 6-1. Ikeda ahead here in the second set 3-1. First serve by Ikeda is good. Crossing the wall there at the 11 line. 
rotate forehand Karam. Trying to move Spinner around. Spinner stops that. Spinner's Karam. Whoa. Lands in, in and scores. Really well thrown by Spinner. Point four. Spinner there in the black shirt. Spinner has two. Ikeda receives with three. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Catch by Ikeda, backhand. Catch by Spinner, backhand. Ikeda comes out to make the rebote. Fires it to the inside beautifully. Rebote forehand by Spinner, nicely played. Ikeda from the left side. Not his preferred side, but a nice throw. Spinner going back to the inside. Ikeda making the catch on the forehand. Back to the inside he goes, Spinner's there. Pika, that's the big bounce. Easily caught by Ikeda in the backcourt. Rebote forehand by Spinner. Catch by Ikeda. Low and hard to the inside. Catch by Spinner. Backhand. Rebote forehand to the outside. Actually right up the middle. Scooped up by Spinner. Spinner hard throw to the inside. Ikeda. Rebote. To the inside. Catch by Ikeda. Low and hard to the inside. Spinner, I don't think he's missed one of those today. <laughs> Rebote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Spinner. Spinner over the top. Another Picata attempt. Stopped by Ikeda. Ikeda to the inside. Big bounce. Dies coming off the Rebote. Point four. Ikeda in the purple shirt. That gives Ikeda four points. Spinner has two. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Tennessee. <laughs> is anyone shocked he's the one to go out there and... Thank you, Daryl. He's a good guy. Here's a serve by Ikeda. Backhand by Spinner. Rebote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Spinner. Backhand by Spinner. Rebote forehand, Dejada. Spinner moves up, makes the catch. Good catch by Ikeda. Back to the inside he goes. Spinner on the move, makes the catch. Here's the backhand. Backhand by Ikeda. Rebote forehand by Spinner. Positioning the name of the game here. If Spinner doesn't want to run, he's got to get himself in better positioning. So far, he's doing a great job with these catches, but he's having a run to do it. Excellent catch by Spinner. Hard throw to the inside. Ikeda for the rebote. Oh, what a save. Here's he Spinner. Just a beautiful catch. Almost said Ikeda, but that was a great save by Ikeda just earlier. Hard throw to the inside. Spinner saves the rebote. It's in play. Here's Ikeda. Ikeda on the carom. That scores point four. Ikeda, that gives him five points and a possible set point four. Ikeda. And these guys have really, this ten, Tennessee's back out there. These guys have really turned it up in set number two. Ikeda playing much better, much, much better. Keeping the ball in play, not trying to pass Spinner as much, but Spinner's right there, made every catch, made it a tough, tough set for him. Five to two, looking to close it out, though. Ikeda from the forehand. Bote for Spinner. Spinner plays it up. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda low and hard to the inside. That will score. Point and set for Ikeda. So Spinner wins the first set 6-1. Ikeda wins the second set 6-2. We're going to go to a third and decisive set. That's one thing he said coming in. He said, look, the longer this match goes, you got to give the advantage to Ikeda. Pendulum would swing his way, and it's exactly what we saw in set number two. Ikeda playing some great high life, forcing Spinner to get into those long rallies that seemingly tired him out a little bit. Then Ikeda was just able to kill it from there. So six to two, resounding victory. 
But Spinner got that first set six to one. So anyone's guess as to what would happen here in, in set number three, but I would say if you're a betting man or at least setting that type of bet, you gotta maybe give the advantage to Ikeda going in here. Similar record. Equally good play to begin these first two sets, but Ikeda looks like the sharper one headed into set number three at this moment and probably better conditioned as well. So we're in our third and decisive set here. Spinner winning the first one, 6-1, and Kata winning the second one, 6-2. Spinner serves. Third set begins. Catch by Kata at the 13 line. Powerful throw to the inside. Catch by Spinner. Outside placement by Spinner. Stopped by Kata. Kata throws a carom that will score. The carom, two all thrown from the forehand. Kata gets the first point, the third set, and the serve. Well, if Ikeda has the confidence to throw that carom, that could be the shot here in this third set. You see, Spinner, that one wasn't particularly his best carom and still didn't even really make an effort to go out and get it. So you can tell that he's tired. Move him around a little bit. I think that'll be a good game plan for number 23 here. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda definitely picking up the pace. That ball goes on the overhead screen. That's the second point for Ikeda in the purple shirt. Ikeda running back to the, <laughs> to, the, to the serve. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing here. Ikeda getting there, serving it as fast as he can, not giving Spinner any time to catch his breath. Smart strategy. Catch by Ikeda. Karam by Ikeda. Moves Spinner to the outside. That's three points for Ikeda. And we're seeing that again. Another Karam from Ikeda. I think that's exactly what he wants to do. And he's not wasting any time. Backhand by Spinner. Strong backhand by Spinner. Robote forehand to the outside. Lands in and scores for Ikeda. So that's four straight points for Ikeda. We're in our third and decisive set. Each player has won one set. Whoever wins this set wins the match. Catch by Spinner. Spinner over the top. Ikeda, good focus. Fine return to the inside. Spinner with a tip ball there at the 11 line. Point for Ikeda in the purple shirt. It is possible set, possible match point for Ikeda in the purple shirt. Nice forehand throw by Spinner. Robote forehand. Spinner on the Robote to the inside. Nice catch by Ikeda. Basket stays in constant motion. A reverse two all will score for the win. Point set and match for Ikeda in the purple shirt. Spinner winning the first one 6 1. Ikeda winning the second one 6 2. Winning the third one. Ikeda rather winning the third one 6 0. So. That's that. Moving on to the next one. Carbio yeah. versus Julian. Carbio versus Julian will be the... Huh. the so. Morning cap. It's not the night cap. It's the morning cap here. We're still in the morning. We have a basket malfunction. So. Here's an explanation oh, of what's going on. <laughs> Cestas are made entirely from hand. Steam bent chestnut. And on top of that glove is a little, let's call it a tongue. Let's just call it a tongue. And the tie that we were talking about earlier affixes to that. And because there's constant tension and constant pulling on it, it's a piece of material on top of the glove. And it frays on the edges. 
And we, of course, like the players to let us know that that's fraying in between performances or in between games. <laughs> uh, they're not always paying attention. And in that case, Carbio went to tie the cest on, and all of a sudden that tie that's on the on the hand not uh, tore. So yep. conveniently, we have a master cestero, cesta repairman, here at Magic City who also makes cestas. None other than Manuel, who's played both at Miami and Fort Pierce, been the ball maker at both facilities, Ocala, I believe, as well, a number of other facilities. Currently playing, and he's not here over at Calder. So not just playing. It's quite handy. Yeah, dominating. He, he's winning. Yeah, he's absolutely dominating, dominating over there. Yeah. So it's not just handy, but it's essential to have a basket maker <laughs> who can who can make this repair. It's a relatively quick repair. Involves about maybe between five or six stitches. Now, funny note about Magic City. Our in-house, I was about to call him a seamstress, but that's not the proper use of the <laughs> word. Our in-house seamstress is Tennessee. Funniest thing, the other day, Anderson Anderluck had a tear in his pants down by the knee or something like that. Anderson said, I went to the bathroom, and I came back, and by the time I came back, he had sewn my pants. <laughs> is there anything that guy can't do? Uh, it, we saw him just out here cleaning up on the floor. So, again, the delay that we're experiencing is a delay as a result of a piece of equipment that requires repair. Of course, it's the SESTA. A piece of the SESTA that the players use to affix the basket onto their hand is what's torn. Manuel is doing the repair right now. Take a few minutes, and as soon as we're done, he'll be right back. It's funny, got Julian out here practicing those dejadas. Probably not the guy, Carbio. He'll he'll run those. Down. See how quick that was? <laughs> and look at that, Jr. Out there making the long walk. And look at Ron just on top of it. Look at these camera angles, making sure we don't miss a second of it. So we have our first set of three sets coming up: Carbio versus Julian. Carbio will have the serve. Now, how much, if any, uh, of a factor will that be for Carbio in the match? Now that it's repaired, not going to be none whatsoever. None. Okay. None. Yeah. Just as far as how it feels, it's right. going, it, it's going to feel. In fact, it may feel a little bit more secure. If I know Manuel. <laughs> he repairs it well. Exactly. And so you see me signaling to the players back here. Just they don't have a schedule in front of them, so they don't know who serves. So <laughs> just let Carbio know that he was serving, because we have the schedule in front of us. Here's the serve by Carbio. First set begins now. First serve is over. Ball must land between the four and seven line. That is an over serve. Second serve coming up for Carbio. Second serve must be good, landing between the four and seven line. Backhand by Julian. Robote forehand by Carbio, caught by Julian in the air. Powerful throw by Julian. Here's the Robote off the back wall. Two all by Carbio, scooped by Julian. Hard throw by Julian. That's a beautiful catch by Carbio. Forehand Robote by Julian. Robote left side by Carbio, beautifully played to the inside. Carbio playing with tremendous control at the opening of this first set. Powerful throw, caught in the air by Julian. Backhand by Julian at the nine line. Robote forehand, catch by Julian. Karam by Julian, lands in and scores. A beautifully played first point to start off this last H2H match. Point for Julian. Julian has the serve. Carbio receives. Here's a serve by Julian. Here's the backhand by Carbio. Robote forehand by Carbio. Julian moves in, makes the catch, fakes the two all, puts it back inside. Carbio on the run. Carbio never say die. Carbio went after ball. Most players would yield. 
they know that they don't have a chance to get that, but he definitely did. Here's a serve for Julen. Serve by Julen. Catch by Carbio. Backhand by Carbio. That's the rebote. The rebound off the back wall played by Julen. Powerful backhand by Carbio. Rebote by Julen. Carbio from the eight line. Throw to the inside. Rebote by Julen. Carbio has it, winds it up. There's the two all. Julen got assessed on it, but un unable to make the catch. Point for Carbio in the yellow shirt. He has two points. We're tied up at two apiece. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Yeah, catch by Julen. Strong backhand. Rebote forehand by Carbio. Powerful forehand by Julen. Carbio. Laser like focus on that Rebote. Puts it to the inside. Catch by Carbio. Catch by Julen. Reaching around Carbio to make the catch. Scores on the return. Point four, Julen. Underserve, second serve coming up. Scoop by Julen. Rebote forehand by Carbio. Catch by Julen. Rebote by Carbio. Rebote by Julen. Karam by Carbio. Lands wide. Point for Julen. Julen has four points. Strong first serve by Julen is an underserve. The ball must land between the four and seven line. Highlight H2H affording players two serves. Second serve comes up now. Must be good. Serve by Julen. Powerful forehand by Carbio to the inside. Julen makes a fine rebote save. save. He needs to get up because Carbio is going to be on this ball quick. As he is, hard throw. Will score from the forehand of Carbio. Carbio has two points. Julen has four. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Powerful first serve by Carbio. Catch by Julen. Julen to the outside. Carbio's there. Carbio narrowly getting out of the way. Rebote forehand. Almost taking out the front court judge. Julen's. Scoop by Julen. Hard throw. Picked up by Carbio and a fine catch. Powerful throw by Julen. Will score. Well played. Point for Julen. Point and set for Julen. So Julen there with a pretty 
pretty darn good set against Carbio. Kept the ball in play, forced Carbio to make some mistakes. He ended up with a 6-2 victory, resounding victory there in his first set. Continues to roll on here, does Julian, in this H2H format. You know, you drop that first set, drop that first match Julian did to Spinner. And, you know, that's more of a timing thing. You know, I think if he played Spinner in his second match around, maybe would have been a different result, but a highly competitive one. Dropped it. Now with a chance here to go one and one on the day and prove to three and one overall if he can just get one more set here against Carbio. Carbio has the serve. We begin. Powerful, powerful first serve by Carbio, and that was a spectacular catch by Julen. Julen has the backhand. Hard throw to the inside. Robote forehand. Julen chases it down. Rifles it outside. Carbio makes the catch. Fortunately, he did not hit Julen with the ball. Oh, Julen what a save. makes a spectacular he was Robote out of it. save. The two all by Carbio oh, is wow. beautiful. What a technically Perfect point was just played by both Carbio and Julen. Both making tremendous catches, both making tremendous throws, throwing the ball where your opponent's not, Carbio throwing with the type of control that we like to see out of him. Really well played. Point for Carbio. Long carom oh. opens up and scores perfectly. That was beautifully executed by Julen. Long carom means that it's thrown from the backcourt. It's a two-all thrown from the forehand. Opens up means that it cuts the outside beautifully. We're tied up at one apiece. And you can catch guys sometimes. You know, players have a tendency to go to the inside, particularly on that first throw, but that time Julen wasted no time tying this up at 1-1. Forehand just missed on the rebote. Point for Carbio in the yellow shirt. Carbio has the serve. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Backhand by Julen. Bote forehand by Carbio. Catch by Julen. Powerful forehand by Julen. Scoop and return by Carbio. <laughs> Backhand by Julen. Carbio, two all rebote. Trying to put it in just above the pad. Has all that glass to work with. Trying to thread the needle right there. Not necessarily the best choice. That's Carbio's game. Well played up into that point. Overserve. Ball must land between the four and seven line on the serve. Highlight H2H affording players two serves. Second serve coming up here for Julen. Backhand by Carbio. Ooh, he doesn't often throw that. I'm going to say that clipped. It scores nothing regardless, but... That backhand clipped the sidewall, lands in. Backhand by Julen. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Point four, Julen. We we're tied up at three apiece. Powerful forehand by Julen off the serve. Very nicely done. Catch by Julen. Karam by Julen. Carbio stops it. Powerful forehand. Stopped by Julen. There's the backhand. Robote coming out. Robote from the sixth line. Play to pass by Carbio. Very nicely done there. Carbio winds up. Back to the inside he goes. Carbio's typically throwing that two all. You want to mix it up. Carbio did an excellent job of doing just that, mixing it up. Put it back to the inside. Not what Julen was expecting. He scores. Carbio has four points. Julen has three. First player to reach six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Powerful first serve by Carbio. Excellent catch by Julen. 
Backhand by Julen. Robote, the rebound from the back wall. Played up. Caught by Julen. Julen. That's a nice save by Carbayo. Here's Julen from the three line. Oh. They holla. The drop shot. Kill shot. Winding up and then throwing it soft enough, putting it just above the pad. Did not work. Hit the pad instead. Loss of point. Carbayo gets it. Possible set point for Carbayo. If he's able to win this, we'll go to a third and decisive set. Powerful, powerful serve by Carbayo. Julian with an equally powerful return from his forehand. Carbayo goes deep to the corner. Julian comes out, makes the rebote. Here's Carbayo on the run. Blasts it. Excellent catch by Julian, and a powerful backhand follows. Robote forehand by Carbayo, caught by Julin. Julin had to get that ball off in time. He was at risk of holding it, puts it back on the sidewall, setting up a very difficult Robote that Carbayo was unable to throw. Well played by Julin. It is still possible set point for Carbayo. Excellent serve by Julen. Okay. So, that's a loss of point for Carbayo. And it is 5 5. So, possible set point for Carbayo. That would force us into a third set possible set possible match point for Julen in the pink shirt. Wow. <laughs> point and set for Carbayo scoring off of a carom. So... First set won by Julen, 6-2. Second set goes 6-5, Carbayo. That will take us to a third and decisive set. Players will get a minute to regroup. And we'll bring them back to play the final set of the day. Yeah, this will be it. Set number three, final match of the day. It has been an action-packed morning here at Magic City, and... We got a lot to go here. Two more performances will follow, actually, less than an hour from now. We're beyond the 12 o'clock hour here, so 1 p.m. Paramutual performance with eight games, 4.30 p.m. performance with eight more games after that, but we still got a doozy to finish up here. So we're at our third Decisive set for this match, our final match of the day, Carbayo versus Julen. Julen dropped the last set by one point. He'll have first serve here in this third and final set. There's the serve. Set has begun. Catch by Carbayo, backhand. Catch by Julen. Robote forehand by Carbayo. Catch by Julen. Here's the backhand. Carbayo makes the catch. Beautiful backhand by Carbayo. Robote. I'm not exactly sure what happened to Julen there. He usually doesn't make that mistake on the forehand Robote. Typically, the ball comes out either faster or slower than the player was expecting, and that's why you see that type of error. But uh, that's not typical for Julen. Julian has tremendous confidence on his forehand, both the rebote and just the right side in general. So Carbayo gets that point and the serve. First serve for Carbayo. Blasts it in there, landing between the four and seven, right where it has to. Here's the backhand. Catch by Julian. Carbayo makes the catch. Powerful forehand over Julian's head. Rebote save by Julian. Carbayo 
Oh. Oh, not in the cage that hard. Please, no. You're going to hurt yourself. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Is he walking? I haven't looked yet. He's walking. He's he's up. Okay. In that case, we get to play another point. Backhand by Carbio. Catch by Julian. That's not the screen. That that's a metal cage that he ran into. Backhand by Julian. Julian hit with the ball. Fortunately, not hard. <laughs> and Julian knows that was a little risky. <laughs> okay. Two points for Julian. Carbio from the forehand. Nice power. Point for Carbio in the yellow shirt. Julian receives. Hard first serve by Carbio. Good catch by J Julian. Did that go right over Carbio's head? Just about. Powerful forehand by Carbio. Catch by Carbio. Carbio rifles it to the inside. That will score. Point four Carbio in the yellow shirt. So it was tied up to a piece. Carbio now leads by one. He has three. First player to win six points in this particular set will win the match. Backhand by Julian. Robote forehand by Carbio. Catch by Julian. There's the backhand. Robote forehand by Carbio into the pad. Point four. Julian. We're tied up at three apiece. First player to win six points wins the set. First player to win two sets wins the match. Each one of these players has won one set in this match. This is the third and decisive set Julian serves. Good first serve by Julian. Good catch by Carbio. Backhand by Carbio. Robote left side by Julian. Carbio makes the catch. Karam by Carbio lands in beautifully and scores. Point for Carbio in the yellow shirt. That Karam from the inside really works for Carbio. He doesn't sell it early, just powers it into that side wall and really no chance for his opponent to get there. Seen it a couple times today. That one gets in the lead, four to three. Powerful first serve by Carbio stays in right there between the four and seven line. Robote forehand by Carbio. Julian makes the catch from the eight line. Gets it over Carbio's head right into the corner. Beautiful Robote, the rebound from the back wall by Carbio. Here's another one. Robote, this time forehand by Carbio. Julian sets up, takes a peek around Carbio to make the play. Robote to the inside. Julian's there. Backhand from the nine line. Robote left side to the inside. Scoop attempt missed. Point for Carbio. That gives Carbio five points. Possible set, possible match point for Carbio in the yellow shirt. Backhand by Julian. Robote by Carbio. He's going for a forehand two all on that. That did not work out. Carbio for the Robote. Outside placement stopped by Julian. Powerful forehand by Julian will score. Scoop attempt missed by Carbio. Julian gets a point. He has four points. Once again, whoever wins this set wins the match. Catch by Carbio. Hard throw. Julian choosing the Robote. Carbio makes the catch. Winds up. It's the two all. Catch by Julian. Julian blasts this. Oh, Carbio hit with the ball. 5 5. Set. This is it. And match point 
for whoever's able to win this point. Catch by Carballo. Powerful forehand. Julian for the rebote. Oh, the diving save just misses. Went to the wire. Point set and a well-earned match for Carballo from a hard-fought match by Carballo and Julian. Julian winning the first one 6-2. Carballo winning the second one 6-5. Carballo winning the third one 6-5. Uh, what a way to close out just an awesome day, maybe the best day we've ever had of H2H action. Start to finish, it was just amazing. We began with Carballo and Ron Ron ending there with the Carballo Jewel and spectacular three setter. A lot of these matches went three sets today, and even the ones that didn't, we had some great points in there. But I'll remind you of those standings before we have to go here. Just about 45 minutes, a little over 45 minutes, so we begin that pair of mutual performance right back here on the Highlight Channel at 1 p.m. But group number one standings now. Ron Ron all alone at four and one. Have a refresh here. You have Carballo at two and two. Julian two and two. Ikeda won both of his matches today. He jumps up to two and two. Then you have Benny one and three and Spinner at one and three. Next time we'll be back out here will be Saturday for doubles H2H and then next Monday when we return with the singles it will be group number two. Those individuals, Anderluck, Ben, Kubala, Bradley, Bueno, and Jed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for Highline H2H on May 24th, 2021. We thank you for joining us today. We are back with Highline H2H this Saturday. But first, lots of Highline action to come. A 1 p.m. performance of eight Paramutual games, followed by another performance at 4.30 p.m. We thank you, as always, for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again here in just about 45 minutes. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>